Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a little bit of a Halloween tutorial, but something that you can wear, say if you are celebrating Halloween at work. I know a lot of jobs let you come in and do like something festive, but not a full costume. So something like that. Maybe you need to attend classes that day, but you want to wear something that's like a little bit Halloween-ish, you know, something along those lines. So this is not like a full costume, but it is like definitely a Halloween makeup look. So what we're doing today is like a shaded kind of realistic type of bat wing eyeliner. So I did this look on Instagram a few days ago. Well, it'll probably be like over a week ago now by the time you see this. But uh, essentially what I did was a bat wing like this paired with a skull. Uh, but the skull is a bit much so I figured that just the bat liner by itself might be something that you guys can apply to like I don't know a more daily Halloween look if you're looking for something like that um, I do have a more full costume-esque tutorial coming up but I haven't had a chance to film it yet because I had to wait for supplies it's gonna be fun though so stay tuned for that but today though we're just being a little bit festive without going full-on costume so if you want to see how I do this surprisingly simple bat wing eyeliner just keep on watching we're gonna zoom in and get started right now so the first step when I do any type of crazy eyeliner whether it be a bat wing like this or whatever the fuck else I'm gonna do you know Elf on the shelf, whatever. I would, I would never do an elf on the shelf eyeliner, but you know what I mean. Like whatever occasion or a weird thing we might be doing. The first step that I always do is to draw on kind of like, like a base or a map of where I want the shape of it to be with a lighter pencil before I start going in with something harsh like a liquid black liner. Generally speaking, the thinner the pencil, the better. And I like something that's like a medium tone. So uh, a brow pencil usually works best. Today I'm going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. My under eyes are like not cooperating today. I have like a lot of creasing happening, but that's okay. We're gonna live. We'll go, we'll move on with our lives. I'm gonna start in the shape of the wing by drawing a line where I would normally draw the angle of my regular winged liner. Because that's a good way to get like a good shape that's still gonna be a little bit flattering. Next, I'm going to draw the edge of the like outer portion, like the largest portion of the wing. And I'm going to let that line kind of coincide where, where my crease is. So I'm gonna go a little bit above the crease so that I don't lose any of the shape in my wonky ass creases, which let's face it, I have to deal with on a regular basis. And then I'm going to bring the wing down so that the first point of it is ending up down here. Now I'm just going to sketch in the connective parts of the wing, including the little points underneath that like give it that real bat wing look. So I'm going to draw one line from every one of these points up onto the top of the wing. Those kind of give you a place where you're going to shade each portion of the wing and also like where the bat's little bone goes. All right, next I'm gonna pick up my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And I'm going to pick up this medium brown shade on a Sigma E06 winged liner brush, I think this is called. Yeah, winged liner. And I'm going to start filling in the shape of that bat wing with this contour color essentially and fill in the space around each portion of that wing. The wings are going to be darkest near where they meet the edge and where the little bat bones are in the center of each, but you do want to still shade the entire thing in essentially because otherwise it'll just look like there's a missing piece in the middle. Next I'm going to grab this shade here. This is kind of like a cooler toned dark gray charcoal type of color. And with that, I'm going to start building up a little bit more of a dark color around the edges and near where the bones are. Now that the brown shading is done, we can hit it with the black liner. 
This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in True Bird. And I'm still gonna shade it in more with some black, but the black shadow won't mess up the black liner, so we can do that after. I'm gonna trace along the edge of the shape and down where those like bone, bone details are. Okay, now that's really starting to take shape like a bat wing and then we need to just kind of shade it in with black. And I'm also gonna use some black shadow to smooth this line out because I have like a little bit of a wrinkly outer corner of my lid. It's not quite hooded, but it definitely folds over itself, which makes a strange angle like this really difficult to do because then it doesn't get a straight line. But with a black shadow, you can kind of go over that and like smooth it more easily because it doesn't catch on the skin and it gives it an overall more smooth appearance. So that's just a good liner trick in general. That doesn't have to be for a bat wing liner, but which we're gonna do here in this case because that line looks jacked up. Still using the same brush, but I'm going to use that black shadow just to shade the upper portions and the outer portions of these wings. So I'm going to pick up the Urban Decay 24 seven waterline pencil in the color Walk of Shame, which is like just a super nude shade. And I'm just going to use that to like erase any mistakes along the edge that I made. It's kind of like magically having an eraser when you use a nude pencil like this. Okay, now that the wings themselves are done, I'm just going to brighten up the waterline with the same Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in the color Walk of Shame. And I'm going to pop off camera real quick just to apply some mascara and some falsies. I'm going to buy something very thick and black to go along with this. Probably the Kim Tai Cake Face Lashes. So uh, stand by and I'll be right back. So I popped on the Cake Face Kim Tai Lashes and for some reason, every time I wear these lately, I don't know if it's this pair of them or if it's my glue or if it's my eyes or if it's just me but I just, the inner corners just keep playing me. I don't know, I think I'm gonna throw this pair out and open up a new one because uh, I, something's not right. And I wanna pair this with something that's like a little bit like spooky on the lips, but like still wearable, you know what I mean? Like I can wear this to work to celebrate Halloween and still look sort of like I just am wearing normal makeup. <laughs> So I'm going to use the color Plate Cool from Dose of Colors. This is like my favorite liquid lip right now. I've been wearing it constantly because it's one of those neutrals that looks kind of like, it is cool toned as the name would suggest. But it, look, it's not like so crazy cool toned that it's like, ugh, I don't wanna wear that. Like it's still flattering. I don't know, I really like this shade a lot. I've been wearing the shit out of it. Like, oh, my husband's probably sick of looking at this color already. Do any of you know if Dose of Colors changed their formula? Because this set that I bought, well, not it wasn't a set, but like the bunch that I bought recently seemed much more moussey than the old ones do. And this is the finished look. So that's all for today. Uh, I actually think this is probably more achievable than it looks if you just follow those steps. Like if you can draw a line with your eyeliner and you can shade a little bit with a black shadow, you can pull this off. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that helps me out. It lets me know that you guys like this content and it helps other people see my videos. So that's always nice too. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because that's the best way to keep in touch with me here on this channel. And don't forget to follow me on social media because that's where I post the most shit. I post all the shit on social media, specifically Instagram. Uh, my name is Ms. Quinface everywhere across the board. If you're looking for me and you don't find a Ms. Quinface, I'm not on it. Come over there, come say hello, tweet me something, come, you know, leave a comment on one of my Instagram pictures, let me know that you came from YouTube. That's all for today. I'll be back in a couple of days with another video, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna have some fun, exciting Halloween stuff coming up this week, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of it. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm back. Boom.